Today's video is to help you set your Civil 3D 2017 settings um, and there will be a couple of tips and tricks as far as some commands that will make life easier as well. So to get to your settings I right click, go to my options tab, uh, we're looking at the files, uh, you click on support file search path, scroll down to the bottom, you're going to want to add and hit browse. We're going to pull up the G drive. This is if you have specific fonts that you need. So we go to our G, ACAD, fonts directory. And then that's all I need to put there. So I'm going to minimize that just for space on the screen. Um, the next bit of customization you're going to need to do is down in the plot style table search path hit the plus sign this one I've already got set you're going to want to browse set it to G A C A D plot styles so again G A C A D and then just click on plot styles and hit OK um, the automatic save file location I have a folder set up on my C drive and I encourage everyone to do the same um, I I set the on the C drive I set an auto save folder and that way every 35 minutes or so it puts a, an auto save on my C drive the standard way Civil 3D does it is they put the auto save and the temporary file stuff together and it's a little trickier to get it so if you need to pull a, an auto save file I like them to be right and easy to get to so I put it on the C drive um, template settings are going to vary per department, which department you're in. I have mine set to the GACAD water wastewater. Um, if you look at it, you can see that it's going to be GACAD ACAD templates. Sorry, yeah, GACAD templates. And then there's an option of transportation, water wastewater, survey, right of engineering. And there's some sheet sets and other things in there. But this well, when you go to File New, it'll it'll pull to this folder here, and then you pick which template you need outside of that folder. So set it to whichever department you're working in. Um, the the default template file name for Q New I have set to my water wastewater. I work in the water wastewater department. And I have it set to my 2017 base DWT. If you hit Browse, that'll pull up. That same directory G ACAD templates and then I pick the water waste water department and these are all of our different years of templates the transportation department as well has their um, templates in here I believe survey is the same um, this is important because if you hit the hit the new button up here it just automatically starts with this template and you'll have the right files, the right, you know, styles, and everything else. Um, down here is the temporary drawing file location. And I set up this as AutoCAD crashed on my C drive. When you have a, if Civil 3D crashes, it puts a bunch of temporary files in this, which I named AutoCAD crashed. Every time I crash, I go in there and clean after without opening CAD while CAD is still not open. I go in there and delete all those files. I've had numerous occasions to where things were working weird and I got in and deleted those crash files and it cleared it up. It's just kind of one of those maintenance things. When you crash, that is where you go and delete the files out. So that really is the nuts and bolts of the things that we need to set for making sure we're set to. Um, the right directory or the right path for our fonts, things like that. Um, it's just a few different settings, things here that I set each year whenever I'm getting a new um, new version of CAD. So this might not be something might be something you haven't seen. This shows the full path of the, where your drawing is at instead of just saying the last few digits and then the um, job like the drawing name that gives you a full path on the server where it's at uh, this is your automatic save 
number. I usually set that to about 35. Um, if you have it set to 10 minutes or so, it, it's almost really, it gets to be annoying at least too often. Um, I think most of all this is kind of just viewed, you know, based on what the user likes. Um, selection, I uncheck these because I don't like seeing it highlight things whenever I'm just thinking about touching it. Um, I kind of also turn all, I do a preview filter where all of these, I check all these boxes so that when I'm going to select something it doesn't show a highlight of it. If you like it, leave it. I'm just kind of giving you some ideas of the way I use things. Um, so some tips and some uh, tricks as far as commands. So there's a new command that when you go over here and hover, used to, or without typing this command, it'll try to go to this layout and it switches back and forth and it doesn't work very well from my experience. So the command that stops that is file, file, well, I'm getting, there we go, I wasn't wanting to type, file, tab, thumb, hover, all one word, and make it zero, and then it won't try to switch back and forth when you click up here. It, you actually have to click on it for it to switch to that layout. I'll show you how it works with it set to one. I'll set it to one. And then if you come up here and hover over it, see how it automatically switched my screen to that layout just by hovering over it? It's really annoying and it causes issues if you're drawing and the, lay the layouts are big. So file, tab, thumb, hover. Make that zero. Another, uh, another uh, command that I like to use and try to tell everybody about is uh, selection effect. I'll set that to one and show you how it works. So see how it's kind of like a blue highlight and if you if I make the polyline thicker you'll be able to tell more readily. Yeah, it's too thick. So with that on and it's every every different um, entity like a civil 3d manhole or pipe network it gives a blue a blue hint or it just shows that you've selected it and when you've got a lot of things selected like an x ref or something everything turns blue and I just don't like the way it looks so that command to make that go off is selection effect make that zero another command in the options that might drive you nuts um, in selection so there's this button that says allow press and drag for lasso so I'll turn that on and show you what it does so if you have a if you have something and you're wanting to just do a, a regular window most everybody just holds on to their cursor and kinda does this well if you have that lasso on it turns into a lasso and it just it's weird some people might like it I know that I've seen a lot of people not understand why their cursor was turning into squiggly lines all of a sudden so, in your options, turn that allow press and drag for lasso off, and you should be good. Um, if you've ever had anno, annotative text not show up, um, there's a very easy command. It's called anno all visible. If you set that to one, your text will show up. If it's set to zero, no matter what you do in your layouts, it will not. Sh your text will not show up until you turn Anno All Visible on. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I also know that to set your pipe catalog for 2017, you come here. It's going to take a second to try to find it, and then you'll browse to the G drive. Um, Currently mine is set to the 2016 catalog. I'm going to get a 2017 catalog in there today. 
but you'll browse, hit the browse button, go to G, ACAD, C3D, and then there'll be a folder that says 2017 pipes, and then pipes catalog, and hit open, and then it'll ask you to choose from imperial or metric, and imperial or metric, and just hit OK, and that'll be set. So those are a few uh, settings and some commands that I've had a lot of questions about. So I hope that you're able to use those and get your settings right.